Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. What a week. The meeting was, was actually pretty good. I will give them that. They announced some really cool things. It was great to see everybody because I haven't seen some of these people in three, four years. So it was very nice. I, I will admit that, it was good. The one thing that I cannot stand about things like this though is the travel. I freaking hate flying. This company has made me hate flying, especially because they always make us go to Chicago in the shittiest time of the year. I did get back, obviously, unlike some people who are trapped through at least tomorrow, but it was not without its pain in the ass. I am definitely happy that I'm back, but now I have to undo everything that, you know, from traveling and all that kind of stuff. Being on a plane for me is not enjoyable at all. So I didn't have a chance to get to the chiropractor yesterday because I was actually doing work almost all day. Obviously, I did not post a video because it was just, there was no way. I, di I didn't have the time for it and it, it just wasn't gonna happen. But I did film every day. Let's go edit video and drink coffee. Okay, so new project, and I forgot that I wanted to do that. I got that new arm for my iPad when I'm laying in bed. My fear was that, you know, it was just gonna be a flimsy piece of shit. It's not. Theoretically, it holds up well. The weak spot is is actually the, the little part that actually holds the iPad. It gets very jiggly. I can deal with that because it's not like I'm I'm like trying to type a dissertation, you know, or, or you know, do my thesis on the damn thing. So I just want it to stay where it is and let me loop it out of the way when I don't need to have it in front of my face. But it's not okay enough to make me do a new project. The problem is that it's not far enough away from me, and my old ass eyes I cannot see without having to put my glasses on. At the end of the night, when I'm laying there, I don't want to have my glasses on, especially because most of the times I fall asleep. So when I fall asleep, I don't want to fall asleep with my damn glasses on and smash them into my face or break my glasses. So that means that thing needs to be further out away from me because it's too close for my old eyes. I've got it extended out as far as it will go. That in itself, I think, lends to the, the little bit of wobble at the end because it's it's literally just, it's too far out there. So today's project is to build some sort of contraption that's going to be strong enough that I can bolt the arm to it with the base, but still have it further out. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Taylor's do it yourself and see what we can find. Hopefully I can find what I need and then I don't have to have wasted the time going there and I, when I should have gone to Home Depot. But anyways, yeah, let's go do that. So I got some wood eh, and I got something a little bit different than uh, that had originally intended to get. I figured maybe this might be a little bit more doable. So we're gonna have to see, you know, how this all works out. Again, I, I don't need anything crazy. And I think just having this little itty bitty thing here, no, it's not itty bitty. It, it's gonna look like shit. My wife's gonna be like, what, the, what are you doing? But she'll be happy that it's not cranked onto the freaking back of her, her bed, you know, headboard and all that shit. So now I gotta go home. I have to sand this thing because the first damn piece of wood I touched, <laughs> I got a splinter. I should be able to crank this out in like less than a half an hour if I think and I don't mess this all up. So let's go do that. Okay, here's the final setup. Basically, I just took a couple of two by twos and cut them basically into this structure. So these probably aren't the greatest, but it's really just to sort of put it together. It won't matter, it goes in deep enough, put it that way. It's screwed in the back there, screwed in the back there, two on the top. Then I've got one going in at an angle here and down here. And then I have these two, I mean, these things gotta be 
eight inches long going through this and into the stud, which I already located. So I got two of those in there. The weight of this, given that it's a triangle and triangles are the strongest things, will push down on this, which will push down onto this, which will give it all the structure that it needs. This, I'm not too thrilled about the way this is curving, but that's just because this plate is it's like it's bigger. It would have been better for a two by four at that point, but it doesn't make a difference. Um, it isn't super sturdy, but it isn't horrible either. And then it just extends out over here, right down to there. And then if I'm laying here in bed, I look up and that's what I see. And that's just perfect. At the end of the night, I can either wing it in over there or I could just swing it out of the way over to here and then it's golden. This obviously is the weak spot right here. It's just, it's just the way it goes. I mean, this stuff is like super cheap. That's the way it's going to sit right over my melon. And it's far enough away now that I do not have to have my glasses on. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.